There was this man named Otis. We think that's what his name was. And Otis lived in northern Wisconsin. He was a fisherman and he ran this bait shop on a lake near Rhinelander. And at some point, Otis goes south to Indiana and when he comes back, he brings these rusty crayfish with him. The story goes that Otis released the crayfish that he brought up from Indiana with him into this lake where he runs his bait shop and then the crayfish just take off. I kind of imagine these crayfish as lumberjacks that are like deforested the bottom of the lake. Does that seem right to you? <laughs> that does seem right. But what Otis didn't realize at the time was that the success of the bait crayfish that they were introducing into these lakes was happening at the expense of everything else in the lake. And today, we actually classify rusty crayfish as invasive. So many of the plants and fish and other creatures that wind up causing problems in Wisconsin's lakes and rivers were introduced to those ecosystems by people. 